Hi everyone, I'm Vera Wack, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be watching Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I am extremely excited for this. This is like, I feel like it's been building up so much for it. And the Sith are gonna, I guess, um, I'm gonna just say destroy the Jedi for the most part. There's gonna be a few left alive, it seems, but for the most part, the bad guys are gonna win. Anakin's gonna go all Darth Vader at some point. He is no longer the innocent boy we knew from episode one. Thank you everyone for joining me on this amazing adventure so far. It's not done. I still have a lot of TV series to do because there's like hundreds of hours of content aside from these movies. So my plan is going to be to do, uh, there's Rogue One, there's Solo, and then there's the three sequels. So those are going to wrap everything up. And I'm also going to be starting TV series on Patreon. I'm super excited about this movie, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos are live. And also, if you want to support the channel and have access to my TV series reactions full length, you could do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Aside from that, I've got lemonade, obviously. And let's just get into Revenge of the Sith. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Perfect. War! This is... This is starting out very... Very nice. The Republic is crumbling under attacks by the ruthless Sith Lord, Count Dooku. There are heroes on both sides. Evil is everywhere. In a stunning move, the fiendish droid leader, General Grievous, has swept into the Republic capital and kidnapped Chancellor Palpatine. Kidnap? Okay. Two Jedi Knights lead a desperate mission to rescue the captive Chancellor. Poor Chancellor. Oh, he must be worried. Fraught with worry. And, oh. Hmm. All right, so it's war. So General Grievous... I don't think we know who that is, so that'll be one of this episode's many victims. This music is starting out already. We're like in the middle of everything. Oh my god, I love this music. The Star Wars music is just amazing. Oh. Okay. That is a lot of war going on. I understand the first word in the scroll up now. War. Got it. Where's R2? I didn't look for R2. Oh, there we go. With Anakin, right? Lock on to him, R2. Oh, look at Anakin. General Grievous' ship is directly ahead. Crawling with vulture droids. Oh, this is going to be easy. I love Obi-Wan. He's just great. We're on your tail, General Kenobi. Set his foils in attack positions. Oh gosh. I was like, no, it's Django Fett. But no, those are the, the clones. I'm gonna go help them out. No. No, they are doing their job that we can do ours. Anakin didn't have that scar before. I guess that must have happened between obviously the previous movie and this one. <laughs> we got him, R2. <laughs> I like this Anakin for now. Oh no! R4, be careful. You have a... Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Move to the right so I can get a clear shot at them. Get to the command ship, get the Chancellor. I'm running out of tricks here. Oh, Anakin's gonna do it. He's gonna destroy all of them. Look at him. Precision! I'm not leaving without you, Master. Anakin cares. Oh, R2 is gonna take care of it. No problem. R2, hit the bus droid, center eye. Good job, R2. The general's command ship is dead ahead. Oh. Well, have you noticed the shields are still up? The screaming. Sorry, master. Oh. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. There it is. Oh, yeah. This is starting off so epic. I love this. I sense Count Dooku. Oh. I sense a trap. Next move. Damn it, I was, he keeps saying everything before I want to. Spring the trap. Bringing the trap, I like it. Hello? <coughs> A sick... What's the situation? Droid? Two Jedi have landed in the main hangar bay. We're tracking them. 
just as Count Dooku predicted. This is not a droid. Is it like a cyborg? R2, activate elevator. Three, one, 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 step, step, four. Is he on speaker? Like that. R2, do you copy? R2. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hide R2. Oh no. Well. I feel like this is like a video game where you're like just jumping back and forth between things. Oh, it's you. What was that all about? Well, R2 has been uh, no loose wire jokes. Did I say anything? And he's trying. I didn't say anything. I find like their relationship is just seems fun. Look at R2. What? <laughs> I like how R2 is just calmly walking away from the like, fiery death ball. Oh, help! I've been captured. Chancellor. Are you alright? Count Dooku. Oh, hello. This time we will do it together. I was about to say that. Yeah, you learned something, Ed Anakin? I don't know if you will. You won't get away this time, Dooku. Come on, epic. Oh, wait, they're both blue? I've been looking forward to this. Oh, have you? My now? powers have doubled since the last time we met Count. <laughs> they're faking, right? <laughs> Maybe not. I, I don't know. You have hate. You have anger. He has a lot of that. Come on, I can't take his arm off. Oh my god, nice. Nice both? Good. And he can good. Oh no. Oh no. Kill him. Kill him now. I feel like Count Dooku was not expecting this. I shouldn't. Oh. Do it. Oh no. Young impressionable Anakin. You did well. He was too dangerous to be kept alive. He cut off your arm and you wanted revenge. Remember what you told me about your mother and the sand people? So they talk a decent amount. Okay. There's no time. We must get off this ship before it's too late. There's no time? You want him to leave Obi-Wan? Leave him, or we'll never make it. His fate will be the same as ours. Good. Oh, Palpatine! How I despise you! Oh, their ship is falling. Oh, no! R2 versus gravity on a smooth surface. It's not good. Well, that's convenient. R2 scream number two. Oh, no. We're in a bit of a situation here. Oh, look at that nice little hug. General, we found the Jedi. They're in hallway 328. Oh, is that General Grievous? Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. How did this happen? We're smarter than this. Apparently not. What? Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. R2. <laughs> oh, R2. Those, um, lightning staff things are pretty nice. Oh, they still fight without their heads. You lose, uh, I guess oxygen is not something they need, or the General Grievous needs. No, maybe it is. Time to abandon ship. Escape pods. All right. Can you fly a cruiser like this? You mean do I know how to land what's left of this thing? Well, strap yourselves in. We lost something. Not to worry. We are still flying half a ship. 
Can you use the force to help land? We're coming in too hot. I mean, I think it was a pretty good landing, all things considered. Another happy landing. <laughs> oh, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is like the only comic relief we need in this movie. He's just great. Oh no, I'm not brave enough for politics. You rescued me from the buzz droids. And you killed Count Dooku. And you rescued the Chancellor, carrying me unconscious on your back. Today you are the hero. And you deserve your glorious day with the politicians. All right. Well, you owe me one. I feel like their relationship has, like, gotten better. And is adorable. The Senate will vote to continue the war as long as Grievous is alive. Then the Jedi Council will make finding Grievous our highest priority. I thought they were just supposed to, like, supposed to defend, not attack, but... Excuse me, sir. Oh, look! Oh, she has the Leia hair. There were whispers that you've been killed. I'm all right. You look so happy! I'm tired of all this deception. I don't care if they know we're married. Anakin, don't say things like that. I mean, she's gonna be pregnant eventually. You're trembling. What's going on? Something wonderful has happened. Oh, she's pregnant. I'm pregnant. How do you expect to hide your marriage in a few months? That's... That's, one... That's wonderful. Oh no, he's getting so much happiness early on. This is not good. He looks like a proper villain. I like it. I love these Star Wars villains. But the loss of Count Dooku. A necessary loss. Soon I will have a new apprentice. Anakin. Oh yeah. Bringing Palpatine the mastermind. Oh no. He's already gonna start being tormented because of what's gonna happen in the future. What's bothering you? Nothing. How long is it gonna take for us to be honest with each other? Oh good, she okay, she can tell. Good. It was a dream. Bad? Like the ones I used to have about my mother. And it was about you. It was only a dream. Oh no, it wasn't just a dream. You die in childbirth. It was only a dream. I won't let this one become real. Do you think Obi-Wan might be able to help us? Yes. We don't need his help. Oh, please turn to Obi-Wan. Our baby is a blessing. Oh no. This is all setting up to be terrible later. I don't like this. I won't let these visions come true, Master Yoda. Rejoice for those around you who transform into the Force. Attachment leads to jealousy. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. I don't think it's that simple. Careful of your friend, Palpatine. Yes. Be careful of what? I hope you trust me, Anakin. No. Of course. I need your help, son. I'm depending on you. For what? I don't understand. Manipulative. I'm appointing you to be my personal representative on the Jedi Council. Me. What? A master. Disturbing is this move by Chancellor Palpatine. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. What? You're not ready. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. And <laughs> this is exactly the reason why? The fact of the matter is you are too close to the Chancellor. Yes. I didn't ask to be put on the council, but it's what you wanted. Your yes. friendship with Chancellor Palpatine seems to have paid off. There's nothing to do with this. Anakin, I am on your side. I didn't want to put you in this situation. What uh -oh. situation? Why on the Chancellor? The council wants you to report on all the chancellor's dealings. 
They want to know what he's up to. Oh, oh gosh. Chancellor is not a bad man, Obi-Wan. No, he's a horrible one. You're asking me to do something against the Jedi Code. Against the Republic. Against a mentor and a friend. That's what's out of place here. Oh, oh, oh this is horrible. I don't think the boy can handle it. I don't trust him. He will not let me down. He never has. I hope right you are. Oh, oh no. I feel like now Jedi are like starting to doubt things finally way too late. Have you ever considered that we may be on the wrong side? Oh. What do you mean? Yes. What if the democracy we thought we were serving no longer exists? And the Republic has become the very evil we've been fighting to destroy? Yes. I don't believe that. And you're sounding like a separatist. Now you're closer to the Chancellor than anyone. Please, ask him to stop the fighting and let diplomacy resume. Yes. Don't ask me to do oh that. God. He's not gonna listen to the two people that... Is he gonna think Obi-Wan and Padme are in cahoots? I would worry about the collective wisdom of a counselor who didn't select you for this <sighs> assignment. You're the best choice, by far. Oh, I hate this person, this Palpatine, so much. The Jedi Council want control of the Republic. They're planning to betray me. Search your feeling. You know, don't you? Oh, oh no. I know they don't trust you. Hmm. Or the Senate. Or the Republic. Or democracy, for that matter. I have to admit... My trust in them has been shaken. Oh no. Oh. This is so frustrating. He could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. Is that how Anakin was conceived? Created? Even keep oh. the ones he cared about from dying. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. What happened to him? Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice oh. everything he knew. Is that his master? Then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. That's his master. Is it possible to learn this power? Why, yes, Anakin, it is. Not from a Jedi. Mm. Of course not. You just have to, you know, join me. Join the dark side. Palpatine. What a brilliant bastard. Palpatine thinks General Grievous is on Utapah. The capture of General Grievous will end this war. The Chancellor has requested that I lead the campaign. The Council will make up its own mind who is to go. Not the Chancellor. Obi-Wan. Master Kenobi should go. I agree. I. I. Oh, Anakin, you're such a petulant child. <laughs> you are strong and wise, Anakin, and I am very proud of you. And you have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. Is that what Qui-Gon told him? Goodbye, old friend. May the Force be with you. Oh no, he's just gonna fall into the dark side even more. Oh, I hate Palpatine so much. Brilliant villain, but oh, I hate him. Obi-Wan's been here, hasn't he? He came by this morning. Oh no. What did he want? He's worried about you. Obi-Wan and the Council don't trust me. They trust you with their lives. They don't trust you with Palpatine. Damn it. I won't lose you, Padme. I'm not gonna die in childbirth, Annie. I promise you. No, I promise you. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Definitely. Another Obi-Wan infiltration mission. I love this. What brings you to our remote sanctuary? Unfortunately, the war is here. We are being held hostage. They are watching us. I understand. Is Obi-Wan going to single-handedly destroy every droid? Because that would be epic. I want to see Obi-Wan in action. Oh, yeah. Your ship is waiting. 
<laughs> what are you planning? Oh, this is gonna be great, isn't it? Hello there. <laughs> what? General Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> what an entrance. I love it. Oh yeah, he's using the force. Oh. Four arms, got it. Oh gosh. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, one arm we gone. This is arm number three of the movie. Got it. Four. Oh, hello. Well, hello. Oh, no, wait. Hello there. You are oh, it's a... Oh, I don't think It so. is a creature of some kind. Like a cyborg? Ah! Oh, hello. <laughs> Run. Okay. Oh. Oh, his little pet. Oh, no, not it. You keep losing your lightsaber. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. The dark side of the Force surrounds the Chancellor. Oh, my God, yes. After the destruction of Grievous, then he should be removed from office. That's not going to happen. The Jedi Council would have oh, to no. take control of the Senate in order to secure a peaceful transition. Oh, no. They're gonna say that, and then Anakin's gonna be like, Palpatine was right. Bugger. You know the dark side. Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any Jedi. Put two and two together, Anakin. Learn to know the dark side of the Force, and you will be able to save your wife. What did you say? Use my knowledge. I beg you. Yes, kill him! You're the Sith Lord. Are you going to kill me? I would certainly like to. Do it. I know you would. Oh. Is he really gonna punch metal? Oh. It's exposed? Why is his heart exposed? This is terrible design. Oh gosh. Maybe he should keep that gun. So uncivilized. Or not. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. A Sith Lord? Yes, the one we've been looking for. Are you sure? Absolutely. Trust him. There is much fear that clouds your judgment. I must go, Master. No. If what you've told me is true, you will have gained my trust. Wait in the council chambers until we return. He's not gonna be happy. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. It's treason, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anakin's gonna come betray Mace Windu, right? No, Anakin. Hello? I like that kick. Kill him! Just kill him! Oh. Just. You 
are under arrest. Oh my god, you idiot. You have lost. No. 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 You are gone. You should have killed him, you nub bucket. I have the power to save the one you love. Is it draining his like life force? He must stand trial. He has control of the Senate and the courts. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Yes. I'm too weak. Kill him. I need him. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. There goes his arm. Stupid Anakin. Stupid Palpatine. I hate them both. What have I done? What have you done? You nincompoop. I pledge myself to your teachings. This is such a frustrating movie. Ugh. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Anakin, what do you think Padme's gonna be like when you're like, oh, by the way, I'm the dark side now? I'm sure she'll be fine with it. Be like, oh, that's okay, Anakin. We'll just be happy. Oh no, Yoda senses his death. Every single Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. I understand, Master. Oh no. We must move quickly. If they are not all destroyed, it will be civil war without end. Anakin's gonna kill all of them, isn't he? Not just the men, the women, the children. Commander, contact your troops. Tell them to move to the higher levels. Oh, by the way, I think you'll be needing this. <laughs> you dropped this. Oh no. Execute order 66. Order 66, kill all Jedi? Oh no. If she's a Jedi, why is she wearing, like, why is she not wearing a cloak or something like everyone else? Oh no, poor Yoda! It will be done, my lord. Oh no, there's the children. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Look at that kid. Oh. Oh no, the Wookiees. Bastards. That's why there's not many Chewbacca's. I'm trying to think. I think there were a few actually. Goodbye, Tarfur. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Oh, it is Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh, Obi-Wan's not going to take Anakin going onto the dark side very well. The Jedi have tried to overthrow the Republic. I can't believe that. It's not true. I saw Master Windu attempt to assassinate the Chancellor myself. My loyalties lie with the Chancellor. Oh. And with the Senate. And with you. What about Obi-Wan? Yeah. I don't know. We can only hope that he's remained loyal to the Chancellor. Anakin, I'm afraid. Wait for me until I return. Things will Padme must know something's up, right? Like, she's not blind and stupid. She was wondering if they were on the right side to start with. So it was like Obi-Wan and Yoda, the only... And um, Anakin, the only Jedi left? I guess so. Huh. Well, Anakin's not a Jedi anymore, so... Heard from no one, have we? Received a coded retreat message, we have. It says the war is over. Well, then we must go back. No, it's if there a trap. Are any stragglers, they will fall into the trap okay. and be killed. When my new apprentice arrives, he will take care of you. In a good way, right? Oh, he'll take care of them, all right. Welcome, Lord Vader. We've been expecting you. Go, Yoda. 
Nice. An amazing Jedi will be hunted down and defeated. Oh. Killed not by clones, this better one. By a lightsaber he was. Hmm. Who could have done this? Who? Who could have done this? Can't they feel through the force to see what Anakin, like, if Anakin is, like, alive? So this is how Liberty dies. Yep. With thunderous applause. Remember what Anakin told you. They, they must have, like, cameras or security footage, right? Something? Wait, Master. There is something I must know. Only pain will you find. It can't be. Send me to kill the Emperor. I will not kill Anakin. The boy you trained, gone he is. I don't know where to look. Use your feelings, Obi-Wan, and find him you will. Do you know where he is now? No. Lying. I need your help. She's like a balloon. She's definitely pregnant. Anakin has turned to the dark side. You're wrong. How could you even say that? Of him killing younglings. Not Anakin. He couldn't. Clearly you don't know Anakin. After the death of Count Dooku, Anakin became his new apprentice. I don't believe you. Well... Anakin is the father, isn't he? I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. I'll be all right, Captain. This is something I must do myself. Is she gonna go warn Anakin? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So sneaky. He's like, I'm just gonna chill right here. This looks comfy. I have brought peace to the Republic. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. What a I, I can overthrow him. Hobie Mom was right. The Jedi turned against me. Don't you turn against me? Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Because of Obi Wan. No, because of you. Because of what you've done. You brought him here to kill me. No. Is Anakin gonna let her go? You turned her against me! You have done that yourself! Yeah, Anakin. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Poor Obi-Wan. I will do what I must. It's a vicious fight. Oh, hello, Yoda. Hello there. Master Yoda. Now you will experience the full power of the dark side. Silly Yoda. I have waited a long time for this moment. Open your eyes. No! Ooh. Go, Yoda! Oh. Music! Oh. Duel of the Fates! <laughs> this is so fitting! Just like throwing everything. Jedi keep losing their lightsabers. 
Take more of his life force. Oh no! Oh no, Yoda! Oh, this is getting very dangerous. There's too much lava for my liking. Oh no. It's raining lava? Oh god. Into exile, I must go. Oh. Failed, I have. Oh gosh. Obi Wan said he's like a brother. This is not good. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Well, then you are lost. He's very lost. This is the end for you, my master. No, it's not. Oh, maybe lava's how he becomes more machine than man. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Oh, this is where it's from. You underestimate my power! You overestimate your power. Don't try it! Oh. Oh, oh my god, his legs? And arm? You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy this sin, not join them! Bring balance to the force! Not leave it in darkness! No, don't leave him. Kill him. You have to. You were my brother, Anakin! I loved you! Oh, the burn marks. Poor Obi Wan, I feel like that destroyed him. Is Anakin alright? About that. Oh, I feel so bad for Obi Wan. Oh no, he's not dead. He's gonna be like, oh, the breathing. Save Anakin's life. Stupid Anakin. For reasons we can't explain, we are losing her. Huh? She has lost the will to live. We need to operate quickly if we are to save the babies. Is it because she lost Anakin? Oh, they're both on the operating table. Oh, his vision. And Obi-Wan's gonna be there. It's a go. Oh, here's the music. That's a snazzy suit. There's the breathing. There's good in him. I know. I know. She just died? That's weird. Oh, he's not gonna be happy when he finds out that she dies eventually. Where is Padme? It seems in your anger you killed her. Oh! Stupid Palpatine! Such manipulation and... Ugh! 
My wife and I will take the girl. We've always talked of adopting a baby girl. And what of the boy? To Tatooine. To his family send him. I will take the child and watch over him. Uncle Owen. In your solitude on Tatooine, training I have for you. Oh? An old friend has learned the path to immortality. One who has returned from the netherworld of the Force, your old master. Qui-Gon? What? How to commune with him, I will teach you. Oh, like, with the, the spirits type thing? Oh, they're building the Death Star. It's taken a lot of years to get it operational. And that's how Leia was, became like a Princess Leia. There we go. And so Obi-Wan stays on Tatooine for, like, 15, 20 years. I don't know how old Luke is in episode 4. Well, this is heartbreaking. Poor Obi-Wan. Ugh. Oh. I don't know if he, he couldn't kill Anakin, or he, he assumed Anakin would die, but... Oh. Good thing he didn't kill him, though, because obviously Anakin ends up bringing balance to the Force in, like, 20 years. Like, the entire, the entire movie, I'm like, I have a terrible feeling about this, obviously. And then it's just so infuriating and frustrating seeing Palpatine just, like, manipulate Anakin. Ah. Oh. And then Obi-Wan and Padme, they're like, Anakin, Chancellor is not good. Maybe we're on the wrong side. And he's like, no, I don't believe you. It's like, I feel like the two people that he trust or loved the most, and he just turns his back on them. Oh, man. Anakin, such a frustrating character. Oh, but in the end, he does redeem himself, I guess, in the end, like in episode six. But I feel like in episode six is when he finally realizes that maybe he's been played all along? I don't know. I did, I did like seeing uh, Count Dooku surprise when Palpatine said to kill him. And he's like, what? I feel like uh, Palpatine may have manipulated Count Dooku. I don't, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like this might be where like the Clone Wars is going to come in and explain more. I hope so. I would love to see more character development. So I got to watch Obi-Wan and I also have to watch the Clone Wars, obviously. I, I think this was a really, really great episode, even though it was frustratingly, well, frustrating because of just the sheer manipulation that Palpatine is doing. Oh, man. I hate that guy so much, so much. Uh, execute Order 66. I think I remember hearing that at some point, and I was like, I don't even know what this means, but now I do. Now I got it. There's also, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. I've heard that plenty of times. And I guess Anakin got to got overconfident or something, and then jumped, and then Obi-Wan's like, chop. Anakin, Anakin. He's like, I'm stronger than the Chancellor. I'm stronger than everyone. He's very, very arrogant. He has so many... Anakin has so many flaws. Basically, what I can take from this is just... Poor Obi-Wan. Oh, he had to... He just... He, he tried his best. He tried his best to train Anakin. He wasn't, I feel like he wasn't the perfect, the best teacher for Anakin. He didn't really quite understand. I feel like Obi-Wan is definitely more in line with the Jedi way. The best way I could say is just devout. He follows it more to a T. If you've already gotten to the point where you have let go of your attachments and stuff, then it's hard to help someone that's going through it. That's what I see. Uh, I think my biggest issue was the... Okay, so I've, I actually have two issues. Um, first thing, Padme just dying. So she lost the will to live. I... I don't like that. But I mean, it is what it is. It just, it feels... Not cheap, just silly. Not my favorite thing. Um, the second thing is... I don't know who the actor is. The dude who did um, Palpatine. Ian McDermott? So... I don't know anything about him, but it feels like his uh, Palpatine is very theatrical. 
it feels, I'm not saying it's like a caricature of a villain, but it seems overly, I guess maybe caricature. That's how it felt like to me in this one, especially like his, his snarls and everything. It just feels so typical villain. I'm, so I wasn't a huge fan of having him so prominent in the movie um, and in the fights and stuff. It, it felt too theatrical for film to me. It sort of took me away from um, the scene at times, which I feel there's different kinds of acting. I would say there's theater acting where you have to be more expressive and film acting where if you are more expressive, it's probably best for comedies, parodies, and just for exaggeration. It doesn't fit well for me in serious situations. We didn't, we didn't have Jar Jar. Speaking of serious situations, we didn't have Jar Jar. We just saw him like once or twice or something, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. C-3PO also was not extremely comedic, which was a relief. Uh, I found he was getting a little bit on my nerves in Attack of the Clones, but in this one he was subdued, which I think is like a very good C-3PO. I find at the beginning there were a lot of R2 screams, which started to get a bit Maybe not maybe annoying, just uh, overdone. But this was great. I I loved um, episode three. I think it. I don't know. It is high up there with my favorites. I think the ending, just Obi Wan and Anakin fighting, is like the most heartbreaking at the end. Especially when Anakin says that he hates him. Obi Wan is just like you. You were like a brother. I loved you. It was great. There was a lot of disarming in this. I absolutely lost count. Um, count Dooku got two. You got two General Grievous. You got the two mechanical arms. Um, Mace Windu. So we got six arm chop offs and two legs. That's that's a lot. It's like they're like, hey, you know what? This is going to be episode three. We're going to have like the total of everything together in there. I loved it. I I do enjoy the arms chopping off, even though I like. I mean, always expecting it, but I still when I see it, I'm like, oh my god, they did it, and it's just. It's just nice to see. I don't know why I really love that aspect. I think Obi-Wan is just my favorite. I don't know if it's Ewan McGregor that's my favorite. I think so. I, I kept rooting for Anakin, even though I knew he was going to go to the dark side. I was like, no, don't, don't, don't be manipulated so much. But he's so manipulated. Oh, Palpatine. I hate him more and more every single time he has a scene. I'm like, I hate this character. This character's a freaking douchebag. He's just terrible. And yeah, that's, that's Palpatine all right. All right, well, now it's time for IMDb Trivia. We've got a lot of stuff, probably. Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen trained for two months in fencing and fitness in preparation for their epic battle. As a result of their practice, the speed at which Kenobi and Vader engaged the duel is the speed in which it was filmed. It was not digitally accelerated. I think that's great. Two months of fencing and fitness. That would be amazing. I think that's the one thing about, like, acting that I find great is just doing, going through all the training and being able to do some of the stuff. Like, the battle. That's awesome. Oh, oh, okay. After their climactic duel, Obi-Wan can be seen picking up Anakin's lightsaber, which he later gives to Luke. That makes sense. I did see him pick it up. Um, I didn't put two and two together that it was Anakin's. I sort of assumed it was his, but it doesn't make sense because he was holding his. So that makes sense. I like that. Ewan McGregor apparently asked if he could also play one of the Emperor's red-robed Imperial Guards. However, it's not known whether he did or not. That just sounds so fun. It just sounds so, so interesting to just be like, hey, can I also beat this red dude? I mean, if I was, if I was to star in like a Star Wars movie, I'd be like, oh my God, I want to do so many things. I'd be like, can I be just someone in costume? Can I do this? I would love to be just part of everything. Oh, we also got, um, I, had a, I have a bad feeling about this. Like immediately at the beginning, Obi-Wan said it. I love it. I, I think that's great. I hope that they... They have that line in um, the sequels as well, and Rogue One and Solo. When Obi-Wan finds General Grievous in Utapau, I think that's how they say it, his first words are, hello there. It is, which I found hilarious. Uh, in Star Wars Episode Four, when Obi-Wan is first introduced, his words to R2-D2 are, hello there. Oh, I think that's great. I... For some reason, that scene was just hilarious to me. He just like drops down and he's like, hello there. It's like, what an entrance. Yeah, that concludes IMDb. There's so many things I really liked about the movie. I, I think my favorite thing is just Ian McGregor as Obi-Wan. I think it was just fantastic all around. So this is the end of the prequels. 
This is great. I've really enjoyed the prequels. It was uh, character development was awesome, frustrating, amazing. Just uh, so many different emotions. That's all I can say. But I enjoyed it overall. And thank you everyone for being on this journey with me. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you stay for Rogue One solo and then also the sequels. Again, thank you everyone for being here, for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Goodbye, old friend. May the force be with you, and I will see you all in the next video.